great. I just broke my boot. I do feel quite cute, I'm not gonna lie. Why do I love this though? Come through lighting, come through. Okay, maybe you don't come through that strong. Oh, how cute. I love it. I literally look like Edna. It is the spooky season. It's also my birthday month. Wink, wink. It is October, which means it's the month of Halloween. I love dressing up and I was thinking about what I should do for my Halloween costume this year. It was so tough to just pick one thing because I literally wanted to dress like everything. And that's basically how this video idea came about. I was like, look, if I can't dress like this for Halloween, I'm just gonna make an excuse to dress up for a video so that I can get all of that energy out there. So I'm gonna dress up as TV show characters this week and feel free to use this as like a Halloween costume inspiration video if you want. Let me know which one is your favorite costume. Feel free to rate them out 10 if you want. Also let me know because I'm very curious about this sort of stuff. Let me know if you are dressing up for Halloween and if you are what's your costume. I feel like Halloween gets you out of your comfort zone and you get to do things you wouldn't normally do. As you can see my skin is doing great at the moment. Really been focusing on my skincare routine and staying hydrated. Uh, I just punched myself. Someone hasn't been drinking enough water and I'm very weak first thing in the morning. Can't open a bottle. The thing that's really kind of weird about this is that I've never had spots on my cheeks before, like ever. So I'm kind of like, what is going on, man? What is this? What's happening to my face? So that's been fun. This too shall pass. Well, I blooming hope it does. Luckily though, this video has is nothing about me and how I look. It's about me transforming into other people. Right now, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Let me first of all wash my face with a good skincare routine. One that's apparently not doing that great of a job right now. And then let's transform into the first character, which I'm very excited about. Today's character I'm very excited about, especially considering I woke up to a beautifully glorious day. <laughs> I mean, the weather's just thriving right now. Absolutely divine. It's time for makeup. The first show I'm gonna try is called The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which was a huge show in the 90s. The main character of the show was called Will Smith. The style on the show was very bold and colorful. The different prints of the shirt, the colors, the shapes. It was so bold and out there. I kind of wish we dressed like that now. Like I know 90s fashion is slightly coming back, but we're gonna go full out. Yo, I'm doing a bad job of my makeup. I'm trying to cover all my spotty area. Ah! I just got makeup everywhere. God dang it. Oh, please tell me this doesn't stain. This ain't my carpet, hun. I wanna get my deposit back. These are the sisters in the show. As you can see, the makeup is pretty natural, but they do have dark red lips. Oh, I do love a bit of a red lip moment, I must say. Being in quarantine, like there's not much else to do around here. So I started like playing around with makeup more and trying different styles and fashion. And I feel like I'm much more comfortable with experimenting, trying new things out. And I don't know if I would have done that naturally had I not been in quarantine for like however many months. Okay, that is the makeup done. Feeling fun, fab and fresh. When trying to come up with the outfit, I really wanted to be as true to the 90s as possible. I wanted to get a piece that was actually from the 90s. So I went to this retro vintage store. And again, we have been blessed because I didn't even know at the time, but. It just so happened to be that everything in that store was £12.95, which for vintage stuff in London is insane. So the main piece that's gonna bring this whole thing together, this sick jacket. That's got fresh prints written all over it. I saw the tag and it said it was £42. And I was like, what? But I just happened to be there on a day where everything was £12.95. And that's insane. That's such a crazy discount. Cause I also got other things and is still wicked out cheaper with all those things than had I bought this for full price. £12.95, what an absolute bargain. Next thing is something that I really love and that's a fanny pack. And then I got a cap. This was on sale in Urban Outfits too. You know what? I really, I do love a good bargain, I'm not gonna lie. So this one I got for seven pounds, but I think it's for guys, so it's gonna be a bit big. It actually doesn't look that bad. I feel like Will's character always wore caps, so I kinda need to do the character justice and have her on. Another thing that's very 90s is dungarees. I'm gonna wear my Nike blazers. I mean, 
very different from what I wear right now. I decided to wear my dungarees like one out because I noticed that that's how Will was wearing it. Soon as I put it on, I just feel instantly happier. So that just proves that we should wear more bright colors because, <gasps> okay. I can't see myself probably because I haven't got my glasses on, but from the blurriness, oh, it's so exciting. Let's see. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I should probably shouldn't scream so because my name is, but oh my God, I love it. I actually can't. Who is she? Oh my God. Oh my God, I love it so much. I don't know why this makes me so happy, but it does. This is so cool. Look at my trainers. This is such a cool outfit we're only one outfit in and i feel like we've already peaked i mean i don't see how it's gonna get any better than this i mean you guys might say this looks awful so who knows overall i would give this outfit a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Guys, I made it to Uncle Phil's house. This is Belle. We actually Googled and tried to find a place that looks like Belle. So this is like the English version. I really hope this isn't someone's actual house and we're not on like private property right now. Another day, another character. Can you guess who I am just by looking at me right now? I hope you can, because that's the whole point. One, two, three. <gasps> I think I just broke my boot. Oh no. Great. I just broke my boot. I'm not gonna lie to you, the trousers I'm currently wearing are a little too tight. In fact, they're very tight. I feel like they're squishing all my organs right now, but let's just, let's just go with it. Today I am, whatever this is, power move, Kim Possible. I'm not in frame. That's awkward. Can you see me now? This is the outfit. Whew. And actually now that I'm looking at it, I kind of, I kind of do dig this look. Whenever I do these like styling videos, I keep re getting reminded of like how badly I dress on day to day basis and how why I should put more effort in. Kim Possible, who? Taz Possible. Taz, can make anything possible? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Meet Taz Impossible because she struggles to do absolutely everything. Uh, oh! That is the most anticlimactic. You can find her hanging out in children parks and scaring away the young kids. God help us. That lighting though. We have been blessed. So today I am dressing up as Velma from Scooby-Doo. Today's outfit is probably the most fancy dress costume outfit. Like I don't think this is wearable outside at all. I've even got a wig. Yes, we're gonna have a wig situation. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's probably super cheap. Meet my new hair. Okay, let's see what I look like with a fringe. Oh, wow. Oh, it's actually a good wig. Like, it's comfortable. <gasps> oh my God, I am obsessed. Oh my God. Why do I love this though? Come through lighting, come through. Okay, maybe you don't come through that strong. Oh my goodness, who is she? I found these glasses and they're the closest thing I can find to Velma, but as you can see, I literally look like Edna. I was supposed to look like Velma, but I have somehow turned into Edna. Well, hello, darling. Oh, I've turned into Anna. What's her name? Anna Winter? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, we're going through a lot of uh, characters right now. Well, she's a real person. I shouldn't say that. Anna Winter, you know, the one who does um, fashion, like Devil's Wears Prada. I feel like I'm a bit like her right now. Or Edna, but who I'm trying to be is Velma. So I don't know what's going on there. Right, I need to get these out and I'm not sure how to do that. Oh, well, would you look at that? And then hopefully... Ow! Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's put the outfit on and see the finished look. Let's do this. This is what I would look like with a full fringe and big square glasses. You know what, this actually turned out pretty well. I'm pretty chuffed with how this turned out. I feel like I actually look like Velma, which is, well, the whole point. So this is the entire outfit. I, Percy, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Got the red shoes, tight, skirt, turtleneck. I think it's a 10 out of 10 in terms of nailing the costume. I feel like this is the most on point one. Like if I was to walk down the street like this, people would definitely know. I'm on the hunt for a mystery. Is it wearable? 
Probably not. Today's character is going to be Eleven from Stranger Things. Specifically, Eleven from season three. Stranger Things is set in the 80s, which has its own aesthetic. Eleven in season three is a lot more creative in terms of the outfit. There's a lot more patterns, a lot more color. And I actually found this outfit on Amazon, which was very convenient for me. So this is the shirt. And then with it, I'm gonna wear braces. Many, many years ago, I went through a braces phase. I willingly wore braces all the time. So this is giving me like flashbacks. Also a yellow scrunchie for the hair. Usually I don't do anything with my hair and I'm low-key terrified. Actually, high-key terrified. Take that back. I'm high-key terrified of doing anything to do with heat on my hair. I've got my straighteners. Terrifying. And then I've got some heat spray and some like beach wavy thing. So I'm hoping to do something with that. And then I've also got this got to be volume powder. And hopefully that's enough to just put this scrunchie in my head. All of this just to put a scrunchie in my head, bad. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna just focus on the front part. Suddenly we're in 2012 and I'm doing like a hair tutorial video. I don't know who's coming to me for a hair tutorial. Oh, okay, I probably shouldn't have done it again. Oh, lovely. Put that everywhere. <laughs> I feel like, have you seen that video of that girl who burns her hair off? Ay, it's so hot. And then curl at the bottom as well. I feel like in the 80s and 90s, it was all about having big, voluminous, curly hair. I mean, I have pretty much straight hair and no volume, hence why I'm doing this right now, because my natural hair just wouldn't cut it. All right, now to put the volume powder on. Oh. <gasps> now I'm just like a giant frizzball. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that is the tiniest ponytail for scrunchie ever. Oh, people are gonna really tell now. I think the scrunchie is what makes this outfit really obvious. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, Eleven. For makeup, I played it really simple because I don't think Eleven even wears makeup because she's a kid. But yeah, this is the look. This is the shirt, the braces, the scrunchie. Bad attempt at trying to do my hair. Oh, and I got like high top, not high top, high-waisted denim trousers, like mom jeans, which I feel like is very 80s, but I don't know, you guys let me know. And then for shoes, I just got very simple white Air Forces. Wow. Okay, this is actually really cool. I oh, have blimmin' love Perry lights. Oh, how cute. Just like, this is gonna be me today, just draping myself in fairy lights. It's not completely dark yet to have the full impact, but I'll come back. After my meal, I'll come back and set up the fairy lights for you guys, and then we can have the full Stranger Things experience. Thank you for being patient while we cut to a slight Korean barbecue break. At least I've started putting fairy lights up on my place. Getting ready for the mood lighting, aren't I? Ooh, wee. There, that's it. Oh, ta -da. Today's character is gonna be Chanel from Screen Queens. There's like Chanel 1, 2, 3 and like loads of them, but let's just say a Chanel. So the main vibe I'm getting is like luxury, pastel pink, just very expensive, very high end. I mean, I bought most of my outfit from Primark, so. I don't know what that says. This is definitely an outfit I wouldn't normally wear, but at the same time, I'm most excited to do it because it's so different. And it means I get to experiment, try things that I wouldn't normally get to do. And because it's like dress up, I don't take it as seriously. Right, now I've got some color on my cheek. But now I have the pink lip gloss. I've gone and bought myself some heels and then i bought myself this two-piece set it's kind of like clueless but a pastel pink version so this is a jacket very cute very cute and then there's this like dress you wear underneath and the pattern is that's the pattern i would never buy something like this but i got myself a little handbag too how cute i've got the cute handbag and then in it i have so many accessories Okay, I need to work on my high heel walking, but this, whoa, oh, wow, who is she? I almost want to surprise everyone I know dressed like this and see what they say because this is not like me whatsoever. 
Like, who is she? I do feel quite cute, I'm not gonna lie. I surprisingly like this more than I thought. I didn't think I would like this one, but now that I've got it on, I think I just like being anything but me. <laughs> Doop. I got a high heel moment. Wow. I didn't think I'd like this as much as it. You know what? I've liked all the outfits. I feel cute and we can probably take some cute pictures. But in terms of practicality and do my day-to-day -day job, yeah, this ain't it. Um, oh, I've been having the bag the wrong way around. My apologies. Wow, every time I look in the mirror, I feel like a Barbie doll. Oh my god, this is so not me, this is so weird. And that was this video. I had way too much fun filming this video. Let me know your thoughts on all the outfits. Let me know which one's your favorite. And if you are dressing up, then what you're dressing up as this Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know the matter, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.